Team, keep it clean. Hey, what's up, man? I, I, I love y'all. I hope your Saturday is going really, really good. Mine is going great. Um, things are just great, man. Things are just overall that great. Um, I appreciate y'all so much. Shout out to any of y'all that are watching the question from subs video. Then all of a sudden you got a notification. Like, Hold up there, buddy. Whoa, slow down, buddy. Well, tell the Ravens to slow down. Then I'll slow down. But anyway, um, and oh, shout out to the newest Team Keep It Clean patron, my guy, Jordan. I appreciate you, Jordan, for becoming a Team Keep It Clean patron. So these Ravens, these Ravens been busy. They have been busy because, you know, they, they got a, a, a vacancy. They got an opening on their staff at a pretty significant position, their offensive coordinator. And they've been... Interviewing this guy, that guy, that guy, that guy And they've been interested in this guy, that guy, that guy, that guy A lot of NFL guys, but Now they are dipping into the college ranks For an interview And they went to Georgia Georgia And they interviewed Georgia Offensive Coordinator Todd Monken For their Offensive Coordinator job this week per source Monken has been eyeing a potential NFL return and is also slated to speak with the Bucks. So that was the report from Tom Pelissero that he put out uh, like maybe like 10 minutes ago, something like that. So the Ravens, they switching it up a bit. And I mean, I, I ain't mad at it. I ain't mad at it. Whenever um, you go for an interview, uh, trust me, I, I've been on a lot of them. Um, they'll look at your resume. They look at what you've done over the years and whatnot, the highs, the lows. The hey, what, what was this gap of employment? What what? Tell us what happened there. But anyway, what they will look at is what you've done recently, what your current position is or your most recent position was, um, because it's all about what have you done lately and what you can do for me now. And with Todd Monken. Just looking at his uh his resume, uh he coached a lot. Um, some of it was head coach, some of it was coordinators and stuff. But we'll go to more recent years. Uh, and, and from 2007 to 2010, he was a Jaguars wide receiver coach. Then in 2011 to 12, he was an Oklahoma State quarterback coach. Uh, he worked at Southern Miss from 2013 to 2015. But then. In 2016, 2017, he was the Tampa Bay Buccaneers uh, wide receiver coach and maybe assistant offensive coordinator in 2018. He was the full-blown offensive coordinator. But then, we're getting closer to the good stuff. 2019, he was the Cleveland Browns offensive coordinator. So that, <laughs> well, that, I mean, hey, in that game against the Ravens in Baltimore, remember, I, he, he helped run Earl Thomas out of Baltimore. Like, that was the start. That was a start. Like, he, Todd Monken tried to let all Ravens fans know, like, hey, Earl Thomas can still play, but he ain't about to chase nobody. He ain't about to chase no. He tried to forewarn us. And a lot of us, including myself, I didn't fully take the bait. I mean, I, I wasn't a fan of that play, and we talked about it on here. Like, when Nick Chubb was running, Earl Thomas just stopped. I was like, uh, boy. But anyway, uh, in 2020 uh, to currently, he was Georgia's offensive coordinator. And we know – Georgia, I mean, on December 31st, I think, right at like 12 a.m., uh, ain't they what they kicked the game winning field goal, or did, or did somebody miss the field goal? I think somebody missed the field goal. I forgot what it was. But anyway, um, they are back to back national champs uh, in the college ranks, and, and that's, that's significant, man, because even though college, like, it's easier to build powerhouses there than it is for the NFL. That's still a significant accomplish, accomplishment, especially because, I mean, it's not Alabama. Because, I mean, y'all know I don't watch college too much, but usually every year it would be, oh, Alabama won. Oh, Alabama went undefeated. Oh, Alabama won another national championship. Oh, Alabama. Or it would be LSU, too. LSU would be another one that would be up there as well. Um, but that's what he's done lately. He's led the offense of the last two uh, national championship teams. So that's good. That's good. Uh, it it would be a little different move, um, because he he is while he is coming from the college ranks, um, he is he's fifty six I think, so a little bit older, but maybe it could be one of those things where he's like, look, um, as a head coach, that's not really my thing. Uh, in NFL, I've been around the NFL a lot, uh, and also college a lot, and I've been trying to sort of find my way, but I think I got it now. 
I, I think I got it now. I, I, I think I got something here. So maybe if I get another shot with the league, maybe I can make this thing happen. So we'll see. We'll see. We'll see how things go. Um, but, yeah, Ravens, like I said, they they got some work to do. And they got to move. They got to move. Um, I know there are going to be some uh, offensive coordinator positions that don't end up happening until after the Super Bowl because I'm sure people are going to want uh, Eagles, offensive coordinators, or QB coach, the same with 49ers and whatnot. Um, and then even with the Chiefs as well. With the Chiefs as well. And then with the Bengals, their, um, I think their QB coach got an interview for an uh, offensive coordinator job. I forgot with, with which team, though. Um, but, yeah, man, so opportunities are, are, are flying around. Uh, but I think a lot of teams, they, they holding it down and they waiting. They're they just going through the process with some people because it's some other guys that they really waiting for uh, after the Super Bowl. Because, again, with what your resume says, it's like, hey, what have you done Lately, what have you accomplished lately? So, somebody gonna be a Super Bowl champion, and they're gonna have that on their resume as an offensive coordinator, as a QB coach, as whatever. So that's gonna help them look even better uh, for opening. So anyway, team, keep it clean. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all so much. Let's see what's next. We out.